Hey everybody, welcome back to Learn Stuff. My name is Mackenzie and this week we have three transitions for you to really up your video editing game. Let's get started. All of these shots and all of these transitions you're about to see, we planned ahead of time before we actually got to the shoot. And that's one thing to keep in mind, is that your clips can function not only as what tells the story, but it can also transition into different scenes, into different clips. So let's jump into our timeline and let's learn about the first one, which is using an object transition. So as you can see, we use that pillar to transition these two shots. And so what we're going to do is we're going to replicate that. And what I'm going to do is go into my object transitions folder and I'm going to click this clip. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this clip and I can see that I pass in front of an object here. And I did that purposely because I want to use that object later in post to transition between a couple different shots in that same location. And so what I'll do is I will press an in point and once the um, once the pillar totally gets in front of the frame I will press my out point and I will drag that in and what I will do is I'll lock the footage delete the audio and now I have here just a clip of the cowboy and having the pillar cover the entire frame and so now the next part is importing the next shot all right and so as you can see here I really slowly pan out from the same pillar in the location to a different shot. And what this is, is the same location used in a different functionality. So I can actually transition between these two shots. And so I'm gonna drag this into my timeline as well. I'm gonna lock the clip, I'm gonna delete the audio, and now I have this. And so it doesn't really look right. It looks like we're getting there. And so there's a couple different things that we can do to really make this transition look smooth. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to right click where this FX is shown on the top left of your clip and I'm gonna go down to time remapping and I'm gonna hit speed. And what that does is that changes the functionality of this line. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press P and that's my point and I'm gonna find the spot that I want the clip to slow down at. And that's probably right when uh, then they start getting into position. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the point right here and then there's this little um, kind of in and out point here. And so I'm actually going to extend this, no, I'm gonna extend this point so that there's kind of some space there so that when I change this speed, it kind of slowly declines into the normal speed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ramp this up a lot. I'm gonna ramp it up to probably around a thousand because I really went slow. And so now I have this. That's better, but what I wanna do is I wanna extend this transition a little bit more. And then what I wanna do is if you look here, there is a box and then two lines that branch out from that box. And so what I can do with this is I can actually bend these and what that does is it creates a smooth kind of transition of the two different speeds. And I'll hit render. And so once this renders out, we're gonna check out what we have here. So that's better, that's getting really, really close to how I want it to look. And so the one little thing I'm gonna to add to really make this look perfect is I'm gonna uh, go into my effects tab and I'm gonna type in, uh, I'm gonna go to my effects tab and type in cross dissolve. And I'm gonna put a cross dissolve right there and then I'm gonna shorten it. And so what this does is if I do this correctly, it should shorten significantly so that I'm actually going to delete the cross dissolve really quick. And I'm not going to cut this part because I truly believe that, you know, these edits take time and they take a lot of, you know, trial and error for you to really get good at doing these types of 
these types of edits. And so let's see how that looks. Much smoother. Yeah, that looks much smoother. And so I'll hit render, and then our final result is exactly how I wanted it. And so that pillar goes by really smoothly, and the shot changes. And that looks really, really good. So that's our first transition. And so as you can see here, I have a drone shot of uh, some pine trees. And what I've actually done is I put the zoom effect between this clip and this clip, which is a really up close shot of some, of some pine branches, of uh, some red pines, I believe they are. And so what I did is I just put the zoom in and zoom out effect on each of them and put a little cross dissolve so that it really looks smooth. And so let's do that right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in and uh, I'm gonna go into my zoom effect clips. I have my two clips here and I have my in and my output set here where it's kind of going in towards the trees from the lake. And so what I'll do is I'll import that clip there and then I have this clip, which I just pulled, you know, some random little bits of the clip uh, of the branches swinging back and forth. And so what I actually recommend for this is instead of going to your effects controls panel and changing all these different types of settings and everything, we're just going to use a preset that, that you can download. And down in the description is a free preset that you can then import into your Final Cut or into your Adobe Premiere Pro. And so to import that preset, what you're going to do is you're going to go to where your effects tabs, you're going to exit out whatever you're doing, and you're going to go to presets, you're going to right click, import presets, and you're going to import the preset from your downloads folder right here, and you press open. I already have it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here, and I'm going to go into the Chungda presets, I'm going to hit transition, I'm going to hit the CD smooth zoom transition. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to mark where I want this transition to begin and where I want it to end. So I want it to begin, I would say, oh, I got to change the, um, the size of this clip because it's in 4K and I'm editing in 1080p. And I have to change this size of this clip because I believe it's in 720. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand it so that it fits the whole frame here. Really simple. I'm going to render it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into the spot. And so you can see here that I have two cuts and uh, they look good together just as a cut. But what I want to do is add a transition to it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to press C and that brings up my blade tool. I'm going to cut right there and then probably right around here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the zoom out tool and then the zoom in tool. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to hit render. So this is again a really simple transition that really adds a bit of style to your clip so that it really looks good when you're sending it to a client or when you're posting it on the internet. Um, this transition is used a lot nowadays and it really helps with kind of stylizing your video. And so now it's finished rendering. Let's take a look at what we have here. So we have the treescape and then it zooms in onto the branches and that looks really, really good. And so you can keep it like that or what you can do is add another cross dissolve right in the middle and then shorten it a lot and then hit render. What that'll do is it'll quickly render your clips and then we can take a look at what we have. That looks really, really good. So let's jump into our timeline and check out what that looks like. So here are some cuffs and what I did is I shot it down really quick. I shot it back up on the DJ panel. And so this is really, really simple. But you need to make sure that you're shooting for this when you're on a location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my two clips I have this clips of the cups and what I'm going to do is start it right there and it goes down. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is then come to the DJ one and I started where it was black and I'm going to start right there and I'm going to end it where I'm looking at the DJ panel. 
And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly highlight these clips, delete the audio, and now pretty much as you can see here, it slowly goes down into the black table and then it comes back up on the DJ panel. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do the same thing I did to this clip before and I'm going to change the speed of this clip. So I'm going to go to right click above the FX, go to time remapping, speed, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here and I am going to start it right there. So I'm going to press P, I'm going to extend this and I am going to ramp up the speed at the end. I'm going to ramp it up substantially. There we go. And so now, when I match it up with the clip, it speeds up, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this again, I'm going to smooth out the transition of the speed, I'm going to extend this out a little bit more, and let's see how that looks. And that looks really good, and that's all there is to it for the for the over black transition. And so those are three transitions to really up your value of your video edits. Thank you so much for watching this. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Comment down below if you have any questions or you have any other transitions that you would like us to show you how to do. And be sure to follow us on Twitter to get updates on everything about Learn Stuff. And we have a new podcast coming out, so stay tuned for that as well. My name is Mackenzie. We'll see you here next week on Learn Stuff.